In this video, we'll derive the quadratic formula. ax squared plus bx plus c is the standard form of a quadratic equation. Now, I'm going to try to solve it by using the method of completing the square. First, I need the coefficient for x squared to be 1. So I'm going to divide every term by a. So it will give, uh, give me x squared plus b over ax plus c over a equals 0. Now I'm going to complete the square on these two terms. So let me move this constant term to the other side. So it will become negative c over a on the other side. And on the left side, we have x squared plus b over ax. Okay, now I'm going to add a number on both sides so that the left side is x something squared. The number over here can be found by using this middle number, b over a, divided by 2 and squared. So b over a divided by 2 is b over 2a. You can think of it as b over a times 1 half. All right, and then we squared it, which is b squared over 4a squared. I'm going to add that on both sides. b squared over 4a squared. Okay, so if I add b squared over 4a squared, the left side will be a perfect square trinomial, which is x plus b over a divided by 2, which is b over 2a. That's like b over a times 1 half, right? Okay, on the right side of the equation is the two terms adding together. Let's try to find the common denominator here so we can add them together. The common denominator between a and 4a squared will be 4a squared because 4a squared is a common factor of the two denominators. So I need to turn this a into 4a squared. So I need to multiply by 4a. Okay, so that will give us, I'll write over here, 4a negative 4ac, right, plus 4a on top is b squared. Okay, so now we can add the common denominator, sorry, is 4a squared. Okay, the common denominator is 4a squared. Right? On top, I can write it as b squared minus 4ac if you add up the two numerators. All right, let's keep going. So now, we have an equation in the form of something squared equals to a number. Right here we can use the square root property. We can write that x plus b over 2a equals plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. Okay, let's simplify this radical a little bit before we do anything else. Okay, so we can do square root of b squared minus 4ac over square root of 4a squared. We know square root of 4a squared will be 2a, right? Because square root of 4 is 2, square root of a squared is a. So the bottom becomes 2a here. Okay, let's leave x by itself. Subtract b over 2a on both sides. You have x equals negative b over
over 2a plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Since these two terms have the common denominator, let's combine them. Use the common denominator at the tops, negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And this is the quadratic formula. That means if you're given an equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then your solution can be written in the form of x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a.